everyone and welcome back to To Wonder Freely. I am so happy to announce to you that we have done another full week of RV living filming and we are going to start publishing it today. So every day for the next seven days and actually I did a bonus day for it. So for the next eight days including today around lunchtime I'm going to be publishing uh, one of the days in our RV living life. Also, I just wanted to say a very big thank you to Kevin who wrote us an awesome theme song and he performed it himself and got it all together. He's so very creative and he wrote the song and um, we put it on the end of each day so you'll get to see that as well and thank you again, Kevin. So we hope that you'll join us for the week. Check back each day around lunchtime for that day's video and as always, thanks for watching. Welcome back to To Wonder Freely and another full week of RV living. Today we're starting the week in um, Arkansas. Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot where we were. I know that sounds ridiculous, but uh, yesterday we were in Oklahoma and drove to Arkansas yesterday. We just got here. We were just over for one night. We're actually in a little bit more of a rush than we usually are. And that is because we are meeting my parents in Florida for a vacation. So we're kind of hot tailing it across the country here. And um, today we find ourselves in Arkansas. I will say this, yesterday we were smacked in the face by the humidity that we have not felt all summer because we've been in such dry we were in the southern part of the country and then up the west coast and then you know we came back down through montana wyoming it's just it has been dry kansas oklahoma and yesterday getting into arkansas was the first day that we were like oh yeah we remember what the humidity is like so it has been brutal very brutal but today's another moving day we're only here for one night because uh, we're actually moving to Vicksburg, Mississippi, so it's probably going to be even <laughs> more humid there. We, <laughs> I'm not really sure what we were thinking when we <laughs> planned this, but, <laughs> but yeah, so today we're going to be moving along and, um, uh, it's actually time to get packed up. Before we leave this campground, there's one other thing I wanted to share with you. This does not happen often, but every once in a while, you come to a campground and they do not have somebody that actually mans the office. In this case, when we arrived, we went to the office, we found our name on the site list so that we knew which site to go to, and they had instructions for making the payment. That is how we did it. We took an envelope put our payment in it according to their prices, and then turn that into the drop box. And that was it. It is 10 o'clock and we are ready to hit the road. Well, we're just coming into the Little Rock area. We are on the, what highway? 40. 40. And um, I just talked to one of my nieces. It was her first day at kindergarten, so it was a big deal for her. And so, uh, yeah, we're just traveling along here. fueling up and Chris does not like to use the truck lanes that much but today we are there he is Chris I was explaining that you don't like to use the truck lanes why is that um, the truck lanes you have to go inside to pay like you can't just uh, anywhere, you know, like the commercial trucks can fill up. I can't show up with just a private credit card and swipe it, gas up and go. You have to go in. So it's just an added level of uh, extra step. Takes a little more time. And, uh, you know, they're usually pretty busy too. You know, I mean, the, there's a lot of truckers. And, 
Yeah, I like to use the regular pumps whenever possible. And what was the cost for that diesel? The diesel there was two nineteen a gallon, which is pretty good. We've been averaging around two thirty, two thirty five for the last month, so two nineteen was pretty good. And one other thing that I forgot to mention about when if you're gassing up at the big rig pumps, it is an oversized pump too. So if your gas tank can handle that, um, then that's great. But you still need to be really careful uh, in doing that because it, it's much different from the normal uh, gas pump. just crossed the Mississippi River and we are into Mississippi and we made it to Magnolia RV Park. So we just checked in and oh sorry <laughs> he's trying to park. We just checked in here and honestly it was like one of those experiences where we both came out and we were like wow we were kind of like overwhelmed with what just happened. But I went up to get in the door and the door was locked, um, which isn't too, too unusual. Sometimes you can't, you know, like just like this morning, sometimes you can't, they're not there, but it said it was open. So it was just kind of weird. And then as I'm doing it, then somebody unlocks it from the inside and we walk in and it's a guy with a really heavy accent that I could not place. His name's Tony, um, but it was dark in there. He had all the lights off. And then he had this bird that was out of its cage, just kind of hanging out there staring at us, and a fish tank. And it it was just it was just one of those where you're like, a whole lot to take in all at one time. And so anyway, we're, we're set up, and he had a three percent charge, extra charge on if you wanted to use a credit card. And sometimes we do see that, so I wanted to note that for you. Um, no, that is not very common, but every once in a while you'll come to a place where if you can pay cash, you'll get even uh, an even better deal. So keep that in mind as well. Things first, Chris plugged in the electric and what's the temp in there? Uh, 92 degrees. Oh yeah. So yeah, we got that air conditioning cranking. Welcome to Mississippi. Yeah.
Okay, everyone. Well, we're all set up. It's uh, Chris had to take a phone call there for work, and and so now it's it's quarter after four, and it is cooling off in here, but we're right on that cusp of it being too hot to cook dinner. So we're gonna see how it goes. It's still 86 degrees in here, and so while it's dropped quite a bit from 92, um, it, it's still it's it's hot and it's very very humid. We're right along the Mississippi River, so yeah, it's pretty brutal. But that's something to keep in mind when you have these days where you're going to be really hot is um, either plan on a cooler dinner or uh, plan to eat out. So like I said, I think we're going to make it. I think I'm just going to make dinner here tonight, but we're still figuring it out. In the meantime, Chris has started working and I'm going to be doing some stuff on the blog. dinner is served. I decided to just make big salads to keep it nice and cool. So I have lettuce, uh, some white beans, sunflower seeds, chicken, tomatoes, cucumbers, celery, avocado. There might be something else in there. and I think that's about it though. And Chris has the same thing but he got a chicken leg too. So Chris, what time, or I mean, what's the temperature? In here? Yeah. Uh, we're at 77. 77. We have busted below 80. Yes. We've recovered nicely. 92 down to 77. Yeah. Nice and dry. That's good. That's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Chris is gonna, we're just gonna eat dinner. Chris has been working and I just finished my blog post. So we're doing good. Well, everyone, it's about quarter after nine and Chris did the dishes for me, which was super nice and we are calling it. It's a little early for us, but I'm not complaining. We're actually both pretty tired tonight for some reason. So tomorrow is gonna, <laughs> there's Chris waving. Tomorrow's gonna be awesome though, because we're in Vicksburg. So we're going to be checking out the uh, battlefield here. And I'm really, really looking forward to that because um, Vicksburg was a main uh, civil war battle, but what's really interesting and to my knowledge unique but I don't know all that for sure. Um, but they, the what happened here was the Union Army came and they actually laid siege on the city. And when that happened, the townspeople of the city um, were constantly being bombarded. Like literally, uh, Grant was bombarding them daily for the whole siege, which lasted like over a month. So, but what's really cool is that the people. Well, I'm sure it wasn't cool to them, but it's kind of interesting to look back on. They actually dug like caves and um, homes underground into like the hillside and they brought some of their possessions with them in some cases and they lived there during the siege to, you know, escape from these bombardments. So um, I'm really looking forward to learning more about that. I hope that you are too, because we are going to be doing that tomorrow. So. Good night. We're moving out. Never know where we'll be. We're making.